While I was pondering or reflecting on today's readings, I remember what my priest formator in my religious congreg in my religious congregation told me. Many years ago, I was a seminarian in a religious congregation. Then one day, while my fellow seminarians, my priest formator or superior, and I were chatting to each other, our priest formator gave us a piece of advice. And this is what he, what he said. When one of you stumbles, do not leave him behind. Instead, pull him up to stand and walk together. What a wonderful world we will have if all of us helping each other to stand up and walk together towards God's kingdom. Perhaps you may ask, when will that happen, that all of us in this world helping each other to stand and joyfully walking together in the path of God? We do not know when, but there is something we can do to make somehow our world a wonderful place to live in. And that something is to strive to pull each other to stand and walk together in our journey in this world. Let us not be like the wicked, as mentioned in the first reading. Instead of pulling others to stand, what they are doing is they pull others to fall. These wicked are like crabs in a bucket. They are pulling each other down because they all want to be on top. That's why none of the crabs can get out of the bucket. Have you ever experienced that someone tried to put you down? I remember a friend of mine who shared her experience. She was angry when she found out someone was trying to pull her down. When you learn that someone tries to put you down, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, do not immediately get angry. Instead, be calm and continue to enjoy your life. Do you know why? When someone tries to pull you down, it means you are more significant than them or you are on top of them. You are bearing more fruit than them. That's why they want your fruits to fall so that they can match you. But when they see that you are not affected by their plans, they are the ones who will become more agitated. Just like those people who condemned Jesus because of jealousy and selfish ambition, they did everything just to get rid of our Lord Jesus. They invented different false accusations against Jesus. When they, saw, when they saw Jesus was not affected by their wicked works, I could imagine day and night they were restless on how they could succeed to put our Lord Jesus down. Our Lord Jesus knows what will happen to him, as he said, the Son of Man is to be handed over to men, and they will kill him, and three days after his death, the Son of Man will rise. That's why, my dear brothers and sisters, do not let your days be ruined when others try to pull you down. Just continue to live and strive to be the just ones of our God. Continue to be the children of our God because the Lord will never cease to sustain your life. Just like what we have heard in the responsorial psalm, the Lord upholds my life. If God is our helper, who can pull us down? No one can put us down. We will stay on top 
always. And those who try to put you down will remain where they are. But you who pull each other to stand and joyfully walking together in the path of God will continue to flourish and prosper. And you will be able to achieve your heart's desire. I believe all of us are yearning to be with God in life eternal. That's why, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, let us continue to walk together in the path of God to be with Him forever.